Hi, I'm Robert Reed. Welcome to Everything Capture One. Or what should I call this? I'm not sure. I'd like to come up with a name for this series of videos that I'm doing on Capture One. And that's the best idea I've come up with so far. If you have a better idea, please drop it in a comment and maybe we'll come up with something better together. Anyway, for now, in today's episode of Everything Capture One, I'm going to be talking about the crop tool and how the crop in Capture One is different than the crop in Photoshop and other tools and how that actually helps the workflow go a little bit smoother in Capture One. Let me show you what I mean, but first we're actually going to start in Photoshop. So we're in Photoshop and let me select the crop, crop tool and crop the image and drag this around. And when you're done cropping, you click the check mark or the, the check button to commit the crop. And this makes sense because in Photoshop, a crop is potentially a destructive edit. It could be deleting pixels if this option is checked. So in that sense, it does make sense to have a commit or cancel option before you actually delete that data. So back in Capture One, uh, we can select the crop tool right here on the toolbar. That open, that creates the handles on the image like we'd expect. And we can crop. In Capture One, you drag the crop frame around the image rather than dra drag the image around inside the frame. So that's a little bit different. And it kind of means everything works in reverse, but you get used to it. And now that I'm done with the crop, there's nothing to click. I don't need to worry about checking on the checkbox, and I can actually just go on to the next image. Or, for example, I could show a bunch of images, all, and we see that there's crop handles on all of them, and I can actually edit multiple images at the same time. I'm going to hold down the Option key, and that will drag everything together. I think that works similar to other tools. And now I've, I've uh, cropped four images. Now when you're done cropping, and you want to move on to something else, you can just click uh, another tool and that will just show all the images as they're cropped. Notice over in the browser though, you actually still see the full image with the crop part uh, highlighted. So we can see this image is cropped and but you can still see the full image there. Because again, unlike in Capture, unlike in Photoshop or in, in destructive editing tools, in Capture One, it's never going to delete the original data. It's always going to be there. So if you want to go back to and recrop it, now or any time in the future, you can just go back into the crop tool and then adjust the crop as needed. Open that up a little bit again, hold the option key down. So in Capture 120, they actually added a shortcut. If you hit return, then it it just changes the tool over to the hand tool and it takes it out of the crop mode and, and goes back to hand tool. So that it feels a bit, so if you have that sort of motor memory, muscle memory of hitting the return key after cropping, uh, you can still you can do that in Capture One now. So let's jump back over to the Crop tool and look at how to change the aspect ratio. Like many things in Capture One, there's more than one way to do that. The first way is just a long click on the Crop Tool icon in the toolbar. That pulls up a ratio menu with some preset ratios and some custom ones that I've added. And you can always add some new ones just by using the new aspect ratio option. You can also go over to the toolbar or the, the tool tabs rather. And if you have the default workspace, then it's this icon there that looks like a lens. Uh, there's a crop tool in there. And the same menu is available and a few other options. And then finally, over on the image itself, if you right click or two finger click on a tablet, it pulls up basically the same pop up tool as what's over in the toolbar or the tool tab. So let's create a new variant and change the aspect ratio to two, three. Now, I changed the ratio, but it hasn't changed the image yet. That's because it doesn't actually change your crop until you click and drag, and then it picks up the new ratio. i just drag that over. Uh, but this time, I actually want to make this a vertical crop. So to do that, all you have to do is drag a corner, click on a corner, and drag it over the direction you want to go, and it just flips it around once it detects uh, what you're trying to do. So another trick is, notice as you bring the cursor the mouse over to the corner outside the crop, it changes into a free rotate tool. So this allows you to rotate the tool and do a quick rotation while you're still doing a crop. So if I click this and drag, I can straighten him out so that his he's not uh, leaning over to one side. And there we go. But notice as I rotated that, and I'll keep going a little bit more than I normally would. So notice how as I crop or as I rotate, the crop is getting smaller. And it's even cutting into his hair, even though we still see there's more hair in the image. This is because Capture One is not going to allow you to crop outside the image as it rotates. It's going to keep all of the crop inside the image so that everything has pixels in it. 
There is an option, however, to allow it to crop outside the image. So you can capture details like the hair there, but the background is going to need to be fixed up in another tool, uh, such as Photoshop, that can fill in this space. So if I go ahead and just crop that, we can see that he's all in the crop, but we still have the space to fill up. Now, of course, this is a little bit crazy. I wouldn't rotate it this far. I'll just go like that and make sure that you know we, we have uh, what we want in terms of the crop. So that's the crop tool in Capture One. Before we go, I just want to point out these numbers here that you, you see when you're cropping, this is actually related to the process recipes. And that's going to be my next video. So the next video, so stay tuned and I'll explain how these numbers relate to the process recipes and what they really mean. I'm Robert Reed and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.